Hello and welcome. I'm Lawrence. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a game character and animate them and also create a sprite sheet out of it and build a game using Construct2. Alright, let's get started. For me, I want my game character to look like this boy over here. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to open my Google and search for character look like it. I have here Mowgli, so I'm going to save it on my desktop. After that, we're going to need some other things also, like the eye. I'm going to pick this one, save on my desktop as well, and ear, this one, and mouth, this one. Once you have everything saved on your desktop, uh, I mean a desktop, let's go ahead and open the Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CS6 by the way. And okay, let's start learn what are the tools that I'm going to use to get all the things done. First thing, go to file, open, let's start crop the the ear. I have the ear over here, open. Double click to unlock let's start with the magic wand here or just press w on the keyboard select and delete select and delete now we have our ear all right once you have everything crop one by one you should have i'm not going to delete that you should have something like this all right the mouth the eye the ear and the character don't forget to rename all your your things here my character my ear my eye and my mouth <coughs> before we start editing let's make a backup first <coughs> excuse me i'm going to shift select everything and put it in a folder and rename this as tools just in case we want to re-edit we can get everything in our toolbox over here so since I'm going to start editing this character, I'm going to select this Ctrl J on your keyboard to make a copy and drag it out of the folder. Now you can hide the toolbox and start working with your character. Go ahead and rename this C H A R A C T E R Ctrl T. Right click, flip horizontal, and enter. Let's zoom into the head because I'm going to start editing the head only. Not only, I'm going to edit the head first. Let's go to the lasso tools. Cut the head. Right click, layer via cut. Now we have two different layers. The top one is the head, the bottom one is the body. Let's go ahead and rename this head and body. Since we're going to start editing the head, we're going to hide the body and focus on the head. I'm going to get rid of this hair over here. Same thing, lasso tools, zoom in a bit, click and select carefully because we only want to remove the hair. double click and press delete on your keyboard and then to get rid of this you press ctrl D on your keyboard there we go I think I want to uh, I want to change the shape of the face by selecting the head go ahead go to the filter and select liquify zoom in use the forward warp tool and change the shape a bit because I don't like my character face to be too chubby more 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 it should be okay like this and hit okay now I'm going to get rid this face 
but before we get rid of the face we going to make a copy from the face first same thing lasso tools select the face only and control J to make it a copy see I have a copy and rename this as face like I said I want to get rid of the face all we have to do is select the head press control on your keyboard and select the inner box then you have the face highlighted but you want to change the color I want you to uh, uh, I mean all you have to do is press alternate backspace and you have it replaced with the color how do I get this color very easy use the eyedrop select anywhere around the face and then you will have a color similar to the one that you use eyedrop to pick if you want this color just go there and you will have the color but I want the whole face to follow this color and then I'm going to press alternate backspace and then control D to deselect don't worry about this line over here we're going to fix it later now let's put the eye you can take the eye from the toolbox open your toolbox zoom out a bit the eye same thing control J on your keyboard to copy and then click and drag out of box and then hide your toolbox now we have our eye zoom in a bit let's position this eye Control T, right click, horizontal, and then shift to resize it. I press shift because I want to, to resize on the same, ex uh, same Y and X position. That is the reason why I'm pressing shift. I rotate a little bit. Now we have a very scary eye. I'm going to delete this eye bucket here use the eraser tool and erase the thing carefully erase the thing okay we should have something like that maybe we can adjust a little bit by click control T right click and maybe you can have a wrap tool should be okay all right let's unhide the face let's put the face below the eye all right I think I'm going to use the original nose Control J only those I don't think we need the face anymore so go ahead select the face and delete and then rename this as nose and then control T to resize the nose there we go and after that let's bring in the mouth go back to your toolbox the mouth control J as usual or make the mouth control J click and drag outside the toolbox hide your toolbox and let's get working with the mouth same thing control T right click flip horizontal and uh, maybe you can rotate a little bit and, and resize <laughs> 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 
control T and I'm going to use perspective this time a little bit smaller on this side and a little big on this side click and now that we have our head change maybe we can bring back the body alright in our next tutorial we're going to change the hair because like I said I want my character to be look like this boy over here so the hair should be look like this one okay see you on my next tutorial